Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Yes, tis that time of year again. This is actually a really fun time of the year for me. I remember growing up that, you know, as with most children, things are divided up into d uh, different happenings throughout the year, which makes up your year. So for me, the end of the year was always pretty exciting because number one, Halloween. Halloween was my favorite. I friggin' loved Halloween. So Halloween was like, even though I had to go back to school at like the end of August, beginning of September, eh, okay. I had Halloween to look forward to. Then right after Halloween, I knew Thanksgiving was the next month and I had that to look forward to. Then very shortly after Thanksgiving, my birthday. And then right after my birthday, Christmas. And then New Year's, which I didn't really give a shit about because it's not like I'm a big drinker and I partied and all that stuff. There was a small stretch of time where I did, but we won't get into that. So yes, this is always a fun time of the year for me. Now, as with all things, time changes everything. And as I get older, a lot of the things that were big deals or that used to be, I don't know, annual traditions, they're just not here anymore. And sometimes the people that you wanna spend the time with just aren't here any longer. This time of year, we're always a huge cookie pie time of the year for me because my mother used to bake like crazy. So many different kinds of Christmas cookies. And, you know, plus, well, not Halloween. Halloween, I was just gorging myself on candy. But Thanksgiving, there was always apple pie. There was always pumpkin pie, stuff like that. Then my birthday, birthday cake, then all up from that time, even maybe a little bit before then, up through Christmas, there were just, I, I can't even tell you how many different kinds of cookies she used to make all the time. Back then, I didn't have to worry about that shit. So now that my mother has passed and has been gone for so long, I mean, and I just, you know, it's a different time and a different world for me now. I don't eat all that pie and all those cookies and all that candy and all that kind of stuff, because I can't. Because now, fatty little monkeys got high kind of bordering on high cholesterol and bordering on pre-diabetes and all that kind of stuff. And you all know that I'm constantly struggling with my weight. I'm, I'm constantly going up and down. For you guys, you may think that it isn't as much because I don't look like I'm heavy, but doesn't matter what you think. It only matters what I think. And I judge myself as being a superhuman deep sea diver for the Navy with like 3% body fat and, and doing Iron Man kind of things and just always being active to now being a slug that either sits in my office or sits in my forerunner driving all over like an idiot all over Timbuktu and eating crappy food and like gaining weight just because I look at something that's deep fried. So what are you gonna do? Well, you gotta get off your ass and you have to stop eating crap. Easier said than done though, because as I get older, there are a few things in life that are more rewarding than delicious food. Ah, uh, the conundrum of life, right? Okay, so here we are, we're getting into this time of year. Now, Halloween isn't really a big deal for us. We don't have kids, we don't want kids. Kids don't come here. The first year I dressed up as Jack Sparrow and I sat outside with three crates of candy and like nobody came here, nobody. So apparently this was a shit neighborhood and kids just basically make it off limits. Now, when I was at that first place we lived, I also dressed up as Jack Sparrow and I sat outside and I got a shit ton of kids to come up and it was great. I had a good time. I love doing that. So it's kind of sad that I can't do that here because nobody freaking goes trick or treating around here. But okay, I'm not going out trick or treating and I'm not doing all that kind of stuff. So Halloween was gone. Thanksgiving was just not that long ago and it was fantastic. My wife is an awesome cook, but I basically had Thanksgiving dinner like eight times before we ran out of food, thankfully, because you can only eat it so many times, but it was delicious and it was wonderful. It was magical. The only thing that's left right now is the bread that she fresh bakes every year. And I'm not a big bread eater, except for the bread that she bakes because it's freaking delicious. So in fact, for lunch today, I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with her bread. All right, now, it's, what day is it? See, I, I even know what day it is, and I'll tell you why, because tomorrow's my freaking birthday. So it's Tuesday, December 6th. My birthday is tomorrow, so as of, well, like 45 minutes ago, I shut off day job. I'm not going to do jack shit for day job tomorrow. 
They don't answer the phone. I'm not looking at emails. I'm not sitting in my office doing anything. Tomorrow is my day to be king. And I'm a firm believer in that. If it's your birthday, now some people, they don't give a shit about holidays or birthdays, they're always miserable about them for one reason or another. That's on you. Me, I love the holidays and I love birthdays. And I think that if it's your birthday, you are king or queen for a day. And whatever you want goes. So for me, on my birthday, I get to choose my meal. I get to choose cake, this, that, and the other thing. Now, I'm not big on cake so much, but I love key lime pie. So almost every year, I ask for a key lime pie rather than a birthday cake, because I'd rather have key lime pie. But the absolute thing that I absolutely have to have, and it has become my birthday tradition since I've been with my wife, is that she makes a mean, damn delicious chili. So every year I get birthday chili, a lot of it. And for my birthday meal, I, I don't even think I'd use a spoon. I use crackers. If I get Ritz or something like that, then so be it. But I use crackers as my spoon. And I usually end up eating like a box of crackers to scoop up like a bowl or two of chili to the point of moaning and just laying there. And that's kind of a birthday tradition now. So I'm looking forward to birthday chili tomorrow. All right, and other than that, I'm, again, I'm not working tomorrow. This time I told her she didn't have to take the day off though because like she's had time off and this, that, and the other thing and we got other shit, you know, life intrudes and all that kind of stuff. But I'm taking the day off, so I'm not doing jack shit for work tomorrow. Today it was sunny for all of like an hour and it was like almost 70 degrees. I think it's supposed to be not as warm tomorrow, but at least it's not supposed to rain. One way or the other, I don't give a shit. So I'm probably gonna get up, I'm gonna treat myself to breakfast somewhere, I don't know where. And, uh, and, and tomorrow's my day to sort of not do day job stuff. Now, the other thing is that today was the deadline for the fourth quarter project that has consumed me for eight years. So as of five o'clock today, the deadline's passed. So I don't have any more of that shit to do. And I'm pretty happy about it. Now, I still need to go on the road. Uh, definitely next week, I'm gonna be on the road probably for like, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, because I have a lot of places I still want to go visit, just to say hello and introduce myself. But otherwise, that's it. The year's pretty much winding down, and I will take that in stride and just sort of relax. Now, I do have a lot of background shit that I need to do. So, like, from here on in, I'm basically going to be sitting in my office, getting folders set up, getting routes figured out, because I did build my routes, my six weeks worth of routes, and they didn't make a lot of sense now that I'm going through it. So I have to redo those and kind of figure it all out. But cart before the horse. Right now, I'm just gonna chill. So I just sort of wanted to give you a December-ish holiday catch up because I haven't been posting lately and I do want to get something up there. But that just sort of gives you a lay of the land of what's been going on and what goes on in the mind of the monkey. Love this time of year. December's my favorite month for obvious reasons because I was beshat upon the world. Oh, well, tomorrow it'll be 54 years ago. <laughs> And uh, it's Christmas, and I love Christmas. I love presents, I love getting presents. In fact, most of the time I give my wife a shit ton of presents before Christmas, and, and I have to hold back because I still have to get her stuff for Christmas. And it bugs her because I get her so much stuff, because I love it. That's all I've got for you today. So if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.